right guys i am really excited and proud of myself so i figured out how to do both a video on my camera and live on facebook and not have my talk back on so i'm like pat 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 <laughs> to do a meditation. Um, I was, I feel like I'm babysitting myself today, having a hard time getting myself to do the things that I really want to do. Um, low energy, and so I let myself just show up in my onesie, and my messy morningness. Um, so I'm doing this meditation very much for me, and just dropping in for myself. Um, and as I was getting ready, I got a call from a dear, God, we've, we've had many different relationship styles, friend, lover, student, teacher, all sorts, um, and um, yeah, so they called, and they were thinking of me, what they wanted to share with me. It's just so sweet, and I'm so appreciating them taking the time to call out and share this with me. <sighs> Basically, you know, I won't be able to get it word for word, but what they called to tell me is that, you know, even through all of our challenges, me and this person, and our relational challenges, and my personal challenges, they said that they know striving to put love first, to show up in the highest light of love and respond with love first and respond with, through, and from love and, and how much they appreciate that in me and I just... appreciating them sharing this with me and as I said to them like wow thank you I so needed that and now I'm in a place of deepening my capacity for self-empathy self-love and self-forgiveness especially around the last two years of my life and how I've shown up and haven't shown up. And so to receive this reflection from them right now, because I'm definitely feeling some stuff this morning, it was just a godsend, like, perfect. So thank you, sweet soul, if you happen to be watching this. Um, so I'm gonna take that and bring that into my meditation right now. Alexa, play more music like that. <coughs> so I'm probably not going to give as much guidance on this one because I really just want to be in it. Alexa, skip. I'm going to invite you. Alexa, skip. <laughs> I invite you to just breathe it in and follow along and receive it or if you know if you can see I know some people that watch me also are visually impaired you know and just really tune in and if you can't see you could probably feel and hear and drop into your own meditation do whatever it is you're called to do in this moment just taking a moment to drop in and of course I'm already doing my teacher coachy thing even though I said I was a gonna <laughs> okay
steps outside be a channel, an instrument into my peace, an instrument of the peace, the ever-existent, omnipresent peace. Alexa, volume down. Onyx. interrupt our peace but I'm just not gonna let it happen so still embodying and being an instrument of peace better than well practice with the ditch. Um, my original ditch we do had a bell on the end and it was PVC and then I was ready to move to a real wood one but um, I, I ended up with one without a bell. <laughs> There's a story behind it. Don't need to say it. And so yeah um, switching from PVC to wood is a shift and then not having the bell, and I haven't been playing, so I just gotta get back into practice. I'm gonna share this with all of you, and however it comes through, I hope it brings you peace. I'm gonna pause the music so we can really tune into this sound. Alexa, pause. Gotta wet my lips. <laughs>
yourself you'd be amazed if you just believe and that's what I've been practicing just believing being okay with whatever comes through trusting when I first started playing the ditch I sounded like a duck and it was actually a, um, a young girl that trained me um, she played um, wind instruments um, like a, a saxophone or tuba or something, and she said you go do raspberries. So that's basically what I'm doing is variations of raspberries with my lips inside the ditch. So yeah, and your lips, like right now, my lips are all tingly. <laughs> so that's also a really cool thing that happens is you get this sweet sensation, and um, yeah. I mean, one of the experiences I've been having is like, I've been feeling like I'm vibrating. You know, I'm not feeling like I'm vibrating a lot today on like an energetic, like, whoa level, but more emotionally, it's more subtle today. And um, so, sound really helps me in balancing my inner vibration and what's going on on my internal instruments on my the internal soundscape um and that just now was really helpful for me because i really needed peace and now i'm gonna go and do some yoga um i think i gotta get out of my onesie but there's some yoga that's hard to do with feet in, you know, having your feet in a onesie and all that stuff. I like having bare feet. So I'm going to get ready to do my yoga practice and I hope you enjoy this moment and sound and time with me. Mwah. I'm so proud of myself that there was nobody talking to us and I figured out the sound issue. But the other issue with this is when I had my talk back on, I don't know if it stopped recording like it tells me if it does something while I'm in the middle of doing it now I don't know and now I have to go find the buttons oh no wait I'm gonna turn the talk back on while I hang up or stop it I think 